as a business owner, you have probably at least considered or thought about marketing. If you're an online teacher, especially one that was just forced to go independent, um, you know, you weren't planning on having your own business. You were an independent contractor and you went from independent contractor to forced into entrepreneurship. This is probably all very foreign to you. This is probably one, this is actually, it's definitely one of the most frequently asked questions that I've been getting is asking about how to market. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to talk about ways that you can market, specifically your online teaching business, as this works for any kind of business, but it's specific for online teaching in here so that you can get more bookings. Hi guys, if you don't know me, I'm Jillian Shanahan. I am an expert and coach in the online teaching corner of the world. On this channel, you're going to find videos that are going to help you grow your online teaching business and just overall accelerate your online teaching income. If you click that video, that's probably why you're here. So make sure you subscribe and click that little bell notification so you don't miss the future videos. When we're talking about marketing, the very first thing that you need to know is your niche. If you don't know your niche, you don't know marketing. If you don't have your niche defined, and when I mean defined, I mean defined, like really defined, then you aren't going to be able to effectively market to your people. It's just, you can't do it. So you need to make sure that you know who your niche is, who you're talking to. That is actually the training in this Saturday, uh, January 8th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's the training that we're doing in the membership program. Later on, we're doing WeChat and uh, Facebook and email marketing. Those, That's what's on the agenda this month. See how awesome it is? But anyways, you need to know your niche. So if you don't know your niche, you can't market. You just can't, you can't effectively do it if you don't have a niche. This is going to go both to where you're marketing and how you're marketing. It goes hand in hand with like everything. So if your niche is in the Chinese market, you probably already know that you need to market to WeChat. You gotta market on WeChat if your niche is in China, right? WeChat is more of a closed app. It's not like Facebook where you can like go and like join different groups. You can't like search for different groups to join. Pretty much everything is invite only, including getting access to the app. You have to be verified by another WeChat user. And because on WeChat, there is no ability for a foreigner to market themselves using paid ads. Everything that you do on WeChat is going to be done organically. It's going to be done through moments, through groups, through messages. There are other apps that you can use in China. Not all of them are as foreigner user friendly as WeChat. So that's why I'm saying go to WeChat. And there are also other apps that they use that are not Chinese apps. Some of them might have a VPN, which allows them to access other places. Like it shows that their internet's coming from like the United States, even though it's not really. And sometimes they might use this VPN to access social media apps such as Instagram or Facebook. But for the most part, WeChat is where to go. Another great way to market is through Facebook. And you can reach potential students through your business-like page, through groups, through messaging, and of course, through paid ads. If you don't have any experience using paid ads, I'm going to recommend that you do not go out and put a ton of money into paid ads when you don't know what you're doing because it probably won't be as effective if you have learned to use ads correctly. If you want to put a little bit into it, that's fine, but don't put any significant amount of money into ads until you know the best way to use them. Because there are, you know, there are a lot of people that, that put money into Facebook ads and it's not really doing them much good because they're not doing it correctly and they could be getting way more reach and way more clicks and way more signups if they were using the ads the right way. So if you're brand new to marketing, I'm going to recommend that you start organic, find your niche, start organic, and then move on to paid ads. All right, the next way is through Instagram. Instagram is really going to work well if you have a clear picture of your niche of your ideal student. You can market through Instagram using a combination of photos, stories, hashtags, and reels, which are like TikTok videos. They're short TikTok videos. And the cool thing about Instagram is Instagram is part of the metaverse meaning it's owned by Facebook. So your Instagram reels will actually be shared to Facebook many times too. So when you're marketing on Instagram, you're not just marketing on Facebook and these reels are all organic. So you are not having to pay for any of these. Right now using reels is an amazing tool. They are really pushing it like 
They are pushing their reels because they want to compete with TikTok. So if you're on Instagram and you're not using reels, you are really doing yourself, you are really, <laughs> I'm so funny, doing yourself a disfavor. So make sure that if you're on Instagram and you're trying to grow your Instagram, that you're using reels that are targeted towards your niche. And remember, these are also shared to Facebook, so you're kind of double dipping there. You can also pay for ads on Instagram. Again, I wouldn't be paying for ads until you've practiced at least growing organically, but to do ads, you can do them either in the news fade or in between the story. So when you're watching someone's stories, an ad will pop up. All right, then we're gonna go on to TikTok. TikTok is another way you can market and there is the um, American version of TikTok and then there is the Chinese version of TikTok or Douyin. To market on TikTok, you're going to create a short video and preferably your video should be either educational or entertaining or a combination of both or relate to the person. So the person that's watching it should be able to relate to be like, okay, I get that. I see where they're coming from. I like them because I feel that. Like I feel where they're coming from. I understand. I am not a TikTok expert. It is on my list of things to learn and to get better at in 2022. So when I figure it out, I will come back to you. I do know from my sources that both TikTok and Instagram Reels are going to be leaning more towards the short clips that educate in 2022. So it's going to be less focused on the dancing videos and more focused on educating somebody. Number five, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is another source that is really, really good if your niche is working professionals. So if you're teaching business English, this is probably a really good place to start. Number six. The next place that you can market is, you're right here, you're here right now, YouTube. You can share helpful videos that teach somebody something. You can share shorts. YouTube is a really good place to market. It does take a little bit of effort to get yourself going on YouTube. Depending on your niche, you may or may not want to use YouTube. And if you're not okay with video, you can always do number seven, and that would be podcasting. Podcasts are still very popular. A lot of times you can share the same information that you would on your YouTube video on a podcast and set. However, I think better than podcasting, especially if you're an English teacher, would be number eight, and that is the app Clubhouse. So before last year, this app was invitation only. You could only get it if a friend who was on Clubhouse referred you. And I think we only had like three referrals that we could use. So after that, maybe it was 10. I don't know. They changed it a couple times, but we didn't, I couldn't just hand out referrals to everybody. I could only give a couple referrals to people. And then after that, um, it was, it was done and over with. Um, but they did open it up to everybody last year and Clubhouse has been booming with English language learners, particularly. Um, I'm sure some of the other language learners, um, I'm not in the other niches, but I'm sure the other language learners do as well. They go into these groups on Clubhouse to practice their English. And Clubhouse can be compared to podcasts, but your listeners can be invited as guests. Unlike podcasts, however, Clubhouse does not allow recordings and it does not save anything that is recorded. But if you're looking for language learning students, particularly, although anything, you can find on Clubhouse, literally anything you can find on Clubhouse. I would definitely consider jumping in there and at least trying it on for size. If social media completely overwhelms you but you still wanna market, and I know that that's some of you, I do highly recommend that you get onto the social media because this one's kind of dead, but you can still use classified ads. So in the United States, we might use something called Craigslist. You can post a Craigslist ad offering your services as an English teacher, as a an art teacher, as a photography teacher, whatever it is that you're teaching. This is not the best one. It's there. It's not the best one. There are so many different ways that you can market your classes, but the number one way to market any of your classes, anything, anything in the world is email marketing. And I would suggest that you use email marketing no matter what you do. So if you're doing Craigslist, if you're doing TikTok, if you're doing Instagram, if you're doing Facebook, if you're doing like whatever you choose to do, WeChat, attach it to email marketing. You always want to give the person viewing your ad or your post the option to opt in to your email list. And if you want to learn more about how to market yourself as an online teacher, as a business professional, you are now 
teacherpreneurs, you are now entrepreneurs. If you wanna learn how to do this, you wanna learn how to do this, this is an open invitation to join in the coaching membership. In the month of January, 2022, your first week is free. So you can come in and see what it's all about and then step out if you don't like it. But you're gonna like it. I give so much in this. I'll see you guys all later. Make sure you're subscribed on January 20th. We have Crystal from Crystal ESL coming in here to talk about curriculum options. So that's gonna be really exciting. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys. Bye.